Alabama, home top of Mississippi, Hustle Point, Georgia, Miami. Who's Amy? Miami. <laughs> hey, you mean your Amy? Bo Hunkers. Bo Hunkers? Bo Hunkers. Bo Hunkers? Oh, I'll take your part. Hoboken. Hoboken. Oh, well, uh, Mr. Timbetra, I want to go to Hot Town. Hot Town? Yes. Sir. That's the last stop. Hey. All aboard. All right, sir. Greetings, salutations. Uh, hey, everybody. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying something new with that intro. Anyway, let's get at it. A friend of mine said, hey, you know what? Uh, I want to watch your streams, but I don't know what you do. And I said, well, twist my arm. I'm going to play some Terraria. And here I am. One of the things that... Oh, okay, we're here, are we? Let's see if we can hide from the thunder and lightning. The Lord teases thunder and lightning. If we can hide from it up in the clouds. Maybe, maybe not. Um... Mostly because it's really loud on my end. It might be ASMR on your end, but it is like super loud on my end. Hey, buddy. I wasn't expecting that. Oh. Yeah, let's just stay up here because there's... No thunder and lightning up here. It sounds like someone's breaking a door down there. Oh, doesn't sound like anyone's breaking any doors down there anymore. So, I have one fishing story. Just one. Hmm. 
Figured I'd perhaps think about maybe making a fishing story. Come on, I don't have any. I don't have enough material for a uh, <coughs> campfire. Oh well. Got a reinforced fishing pole, but no campfire material. So Terraria is a good game to have gameplay for gameplay for uh Terraria is a good game to have gameplay for the uh, uh, daylight hours, and in nighttime such as this, more of a defense game or a I can do stuff type game, of which I currently don't have a lot of stuff to do. Let's go this way. Why? I don't know. No enemies nearby. Maybe we can beat out that thunder and lightning. Where are we going? Not a clue. Oh, that looked like a cloud up there. It's excellent. We can head back that way, we can get us a cloud. Fishing hole. Ooh. Fishing hole. Well, he made it to the fishing hole. Look at that. Can we do anything while we're here? Probably not. Most likely we can't. fishing. So Terraria is a game. Oh, look, it's daylight. We survived. cool. I want to see about that. That, uh, cloud in the sky. this anyways. Crafting. Nope. So we have a few goals for this game here. 
One is that we're going to try and build a fishing pool. Or a fishing net. A bug net. If we can get us a bug net, then we can probably get us some bugs. I can only do more fishing so I can tell a fishing story. Man, this is perfect fishing weather. And lastly, which ironically is going to be the first thing that we do, is try and find better equipment while searching in the clouds. Once again, ironically, since we've seen a cloud city, that's the first thing we're going to do. Alright. Cloud City, here we come. Yeah! That's not all. Good job, team. We found us a cloud city. With this, our chances of survival have improved greatly. game where you collect resources and you try and get the next best thing. And this is so good. This game has it all. Alright, let's let the rivers run deep. Come get some. They're coming to get some. Uh. Shit, there's nothing there. That was a error on my part. Eighteen gold up in those clouds. Eighteen gold was up in those clouds. Let's go get it back. Oh, my eighteen gold back. That that cloud ripped me off. I 
mean, ignore the fact that it's my own fault, but... I think right now this is the worst fishing story ever. Thank you. Alright. Because oh. oh, that didn't work. What am I doing? I gotta run back this way. I gotta try that again. We gotta try that again. We can't leave it at that. My 18 gold's up there. 18 gold speed run. People often ask, hey, Tethercat. Tethercat, why do you play Terraria? And I say, my 18 gold. That's why. Actually, I'm lying. No one ever asks me why I play Terraria. If they did, they'd be faced with the absolute most horrific answer, which is 18 gold. That's a stupid reason to play Terraria. And I gotta admit, they wouldn't be wrong. There we go, now that there's no thunder and no lightning, you can actually see how nice this game looks. Okay. Speed run. Ikazo. Gold. No, I'm gonna die again. No. Potion, potion, potion. Make it to the other side, but oh, we could also try fishing up here sometime. That'd be nice. Go fishing. No, well, we're not going to see too many clouds up there. Nice try. We found a cloud city, but there was nothing up there. I guess these things happen. It's almost nighttime, because of course. So 
let's just review our objectives. We haven't met any of them. Great. Good job, team. Maybe we can do something here. To be honest, I don't think we can. I don't think we can do a single thing here. This might be a very bad place for us. Alright, let's go exploring briefly and hope that we get literally anything. Oh, what's that? Ooh. Loot all. Great. Take this. And now let's head back. It's always better than nothing. We'll check out what that something is as soon as we get into relative safety. But it looked pretty cool. Oh, one of my doors is missing. Gnomes. If I actually had anything, I would actually show you what my... Uh... Oh, man. It's a nice weapon. Fishing hole. Oh, dragonflies. Darn it. Nice to have captured that dragonfly. It's almost getting too dark for me to see. There's the nighttime music. So we'll be wanting to head back pretty darn quick. Hey, squirrel. It's always coming at me from my doors. Alright, home stretch. We got a lot of items. Of what we have. We can make a campfire. That's good. And now, what did we find? We got an umbrella hat. Those are useless. Crash radar. Don't really need one of those. Already got a precise radar. Feather, that's awesome. Long leg. Bond of 
Sparking, Leaf Wand, Wood Wand. I thought I picked up a different thing. Was this it? A fleeting aglet? Armored aglet. Ooh. wonder if we can combine those. Star in a bottle. Silver, silver hammer, that'd be cool. Silver axe, silver pickaxe. What have we got here? Iron pickaxe. Five, six, very, very, forty. Six, very, very, forty-five. Hmm. Hey, we got a minecart. Need one of those. Take a silver pickaxe. Sharp, nice. Toss this into the inventory. Well, I need a X or a hammer. Definitely want a hammer. Oh, we don't have anything further. Well, we got some good items. Copper, copper, copper. Pressure plate mine track. Actually, that might come in handy now. Let's just take a look at that. Minecart. Can we upgrade our minecart? Not seeing any way to upgrade the minecart. At least not with what we have. That's fine. Let's put those back. And light pet and pet. Alright, let's... Mine track. I don't have any minecart track. I mean, I do, it's just... Where is it? a mine card again. Mm. 
Oh, there it is. Wait a minute. Where is it? Be up there. Oh, it's not what we want. Right click. as well it seems that's fine we're good we're doing great while we're here let's go test out that pickaxe so the idea is to build a gigantic minecart track pretty much all over this entire place just for speed purposes Hey, you. Remember me from last time? Silver pickaxe. Darn it. Not yet. Close, but not there. either. Oh, off we go. We've got a few things going our way. Well, do we have acorns? 
We got acorns. Let's go plant some acorns. Good job. Let's get some trees. Plant some more acorns. And we'll try a different route for a different cloud city. just yet. Um, we barely have any dirt. But we do have ingenuity. here. In a minecart up here, we could visit pretty much all of the clouds, if we found any. If that's a cloud beneath us or not. I guess it wasn't. It was just a regular background cloud. We're almost out of dirt as well. nearby. Yikes. Alright, let's... Here we go. Looking for clouds. Nothing and we're straight into the bad place. Let's get out of here. Good job, team. <laughs> I admit that scared me.
Oh, we got a tree. That's a good sign. All y'all can just grow, grow, grow. Let's make some torches. That's a really nice area. It brings us right down here. Hey there. Well, what else we got? Where haven't we gone? There's all of this area over here, but... With risk comes reward. It's all right. Take platinum, yes, please. Yes, please, and thank you. No. There's torches. There's a trap right there. Yay. 
There's the uh, trigger. That's what I mean. This this area right here is incredibly full of traps. Hey, fairy. How's it going? It's a mine track. That's a piranha. Piranha. The main problem as I have is I don't have any exit strategy. of recall or anything. So if I die, I die. Play what fairy, you're cool for coming back. Can't afford to do this. Not yet, not today. Actually, let's look up there.
Oof. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. It's the only way to ride. Okay, quick stack, sword items. Quick stack, sword items. Let's, let's do a hydration check. Hydration check successful. Oh. I was going to tell you my fishing story. Do I have any fishing bait? Let's find out. No fishing bait. Nothing. Look at these guys. And stay out. Fishing net. Fishing net. Nothing. It's not the best. Oh well. We have 47 gold. We should really deposit all this gold before we lose it. Oh. Deposit everything? No. to have a silver bow to be honest but I think we need a silver hammer before then we'll go for silver hammer oh yeah we're gonna deposit a bunch of gold gold silver copper I do have 234 arrows mind you 47 gold. Oh, good job, team. I can craft that even into more. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. Great. Good job. Okay, 47 gold. Yeah. 
be nice to have a silver or something, but we'll do without just for the time being. Really wish we had something for the fishing rod. Ginger beard. Gel, copper, pressure plate. Eh. Okay, so I've got some items. That's good. It's not great. We could always have more. Hey, blue slimes. There's something going on way over there at the uh, jungle. Call potions. Those are almost. We call potions are almost. I don't know. Too much, you know. Like if you if you have a recall potion, that's a get out of jail free card. Right now, I definitely want to earn more of my victories than to have that. We're going to have to head back that way. Oh, sorry. That was a turtle. That was a turtle. That was my bad. I saw a can of worms in that.
This is nice. what's going on here, but we'll take it. Let me see. Let's get rid of the daybloom seeds. Let's get rid of this moon glow here. Loot all. Great. So I'll get rid of some other items. I have a lot of feathers in the future. Get rid of the three dirt. Get rid of the day bloom. Healing potion. Oh, that was cool. head back. We've done good. Still got lots of space, but that's fine. Hmm. No. Let's head back. I saw a can of worms, so let's make a quick stop off at the fishing hole, shall we? I love that I just have a ginger beard, and that's cool enough for everybody. tell my fishing story. Boy, am I going to open up a can of worms with this one. Alright. Who wants to hear a fishing story? Here's a can of worms. That's great. You know what? Let's, let's hang the banner. Here. We can get rid of a grenade. Spear and shoddy spear. We can get rid of shoddy spear. Get rid of spear. Hey, we got eight recall potions now. Good job, team. Good job. 
10 gold. That's a good run. Most importantly, we got a can of worms. I don't know where we equip them, but there they are. All right, with that, let's start a fishing story. This is a fishing story. <laughs> this is a fishing story that takes place in winter in Canada. Canada in winter. Once upon a time, I had some relatives, and they really loved fishing. Now this isn't a past tense story. This is... My relatives still love fishing. Iron crate. Iron crate. Journeyman bait. Fantastic. My relatives really love fishing. They like ice fishing. And so oh, it's raining. That's great. When I was a kid, they took me and my sibling ice fishing. Now, I was young. I was older than when I was with my grandfather. Back then I was very young. Here, I was maybe just shy of a teenager. I was not a teenager, but I was close. So it's winter. My my parents went on a vacation. So it was January. And they... They left us in the custody of our relation. Who decided to go ice fishing. We drove to Toronto. My relatives lived in Toronto at that time. We drove to Toronto only for my relative to drive back up within 10 minutes of where I live. So it made no sense. They drove all that way so they could drive back. Ooh, give us some angry tumbleweed. It was January, and it was very cold. It was so cold. It was cold on the ride up. It was cold in the truck. It was cold outside. It was the heart of winter. And I was cold.
When you go ice fishing, you use an ice hut. Pardon me while I quickly take care of this guy. Bring the angry. Let's see some angry. Anyway. There we go. That's how we did it last time. Angry tumblers. Ah. Angry tumbler. Angry tumblers. I admit it's very difficult to tell my story, but these guys are very good at what they do. What they do is give me money. of winter. So we finally get up to the ice hut. The ice hut, inside the ice hut. Inside the ice hut were two benches. There were two benches either side. Two benches. They weren't even chairs. They were benches. <laughs> it's really difficult telling the story. Thunder, lightning, aggressive. so valuable. I'm really happy they're here, to be honest. It wouldn't be a proper fishing story without them. This is how you can tell it's a good fishing story. It's not a good fishing story until the tumbles come out. Nope, 
There you go. Everybody into the water. Thank you. Ooh. Also, I want to see if the translation will pick up the word benches. Welcome to Terraria. to eat an oyster. <laughs> I like how I have a banner and it's it's created for angry tumblers. That makes me happy. a grand old time. The best part about fishing stories is that they could take forever to tell. There is no rush to tell a fishing story. Look at all these guys. Where did they come from? I'm curious how much gold we're going to have after this. Keep in mind, last time we tried this, they killed us because I got greedy. I'm not greedy today. Patience is my middle name. I have to admit, if something like an angry tumbler god comes along, Farewell. Oh, looks like the wind is finally dying down. Maybe. Maybe. Not 
gritty. Not gritty. Not gritty. Not gritty, not gritty. Careful, careful, careful. Careful, careful. Whew. I think that was close. 20 gold. Hey, I like seeing that. Good job, team. Good job. Whew. And we're still doing great. Let's let's take an opportunity to head back, dump our gear. Turn shortly for part two of our story. Because we're not done yet. I haven't even gotten to the fishing story part of the fishing story. I'm still trying to establish stuff. My story is still stuck in the ice hut. The very, very, very cold winter ice hut. Trees. Be it ever so humble. Excellent. Can I finally craft? Can I finally craft a fishing web? Still not seeing a fishing net anywhere. Gosh darn it. Oh well. Would have been nice, but we will survive. Hey, we got platinum. Platinum. We can get a platinum box. We should be okay. Let's aim for a platinum pickaxe. Alright, well. We now have a lot of room. Let's go back and see if we can continue our fishing story. It'll probably, oh, it's midday. We should have lots of time. to storytelling it's not it's all about the journey not the destination Now, 
Where was I? Ah, yes. I went fishing once. <laughs> once upon a time, part two. Fishing with my relatives in a very cold ice hut. The ice hut had two benches. They were lined on either side. There was a cooler for alcoholic beverages. For my relatives, of course. There was a single heater. It was a propane heater. It provided the only heat source in the ice hut on the coldest day of January, in the coldest day of winter. Oasis Crate. Obsidian Skin Potion. Sturdy Fossil. Thunder Zapper. Thunder Zapper sounds awesome. Oh yeah. Oasis Potion. the very small cat that I was. My entire life I have never been a very large person. I have no meat, no muscle, no fat. And I get very cold in winter. When I was young, Inside that ice hut, that space heater was the warmest thing I had. I sat right next to that space heater. I physically could not handle the cold. It was so cold. I don't remember catching a single fish. I don't even know if I had a fishing rod in the ice hole. All I remember was leaning right up against that space heater. So cold. My relatives, they went fishing for eight hours. Those might possibly have been the worst eight hours of my life. Not the worst moment of my life. Definitely not the worst moment of my life. But the worst eight consecutive hours, yes. Eight hours of hell. Eight hours of frozen hell. At the end, when uh, they peeled me off of the space heater, and this is where the story was going, when they literally peeled me off the space heater, the plastic of my winter mittens had melted. I was that cold. I was
is clinging. I was clinging to that space heater. And my gloves melted. ride back to Toronto took about two hours. I don't remember it. When we arrived at my relative's house, I was given soup was sent to bed and the next day I had the worst fever that I have ever had I was very sick I was incapacitated I had nothing. It almost killed me. The ice fishing almost killed me. That's my fishing story. at the time that ice fishing almost killed me. Ice fishing. Ice fishing. I tell ya. So here I am sitting in a desert, playing a video game, fishing, terraria, telling you about the time I never caught a fish. I never caught a fish on that excursion. zero fish. And so you might ask, did I have fun? And that's a very silly question. Did I have fun almost dying? Did I have fun almost dying? Dying. No, I did not have fun almost dying. Not even close. Did I have fun with my family? No. No, I did not have fun with my family. Yeah. 
I almost died. I did not have fun with my family. Did I enjoy the time with the space heater? No, no I did not. I almost died. The space heater melted my glove. Maybe someday I would like to go back and do ice fishing. But I do not know when that day might be. fishing. I have a job and sometimes I'm asked to go places and once I was asked would I like to go ice fishing and I said no. I said no. And I was in my car, and from the nice warm heat of my car, I laughed, and I laughed, and I laughed, and I laughed, and I was so warm, I was drinking a hot coffee.
Still no platinum. I do have another fishing story. It involves a time when my relatives went to a vacation resort. Once upon a time, richer part of my family decided they were going to go on vacation. Not Richard, richer. Wealthier. Affluent. Richer. There we go. They decided to go to a resort. And they brought all of those with them. We all went. There were many, many relatives there. At this resort, As I was with all of my relatives my age, in those awkward teenage years, two of my relatives, who were a little more aggressive than the others, decided it would be really, really, really funny if they were to catch a fish and not be merciful to it. I did not like that. Humans can be cruel. Teenagers can be cruel. There are times I still think about that fish, to be honest.
whatever happens in life. That fish did not deserve what my relatives That's not my fishing story. As always, I didn't catch a thing. But it's a fishing story. Alright. As soon as this windstorm dies down, we will head back. And that will be near the end of the stream. I think we lost one of our banners. Ah, oh, well. Truthfully, we deserve to lose that. Oh, there it is. storm because of course it's raining. We got a really nice wand out of it. A thunder zapper. We're all out of it. We're all out of bait. We got a nice thunder zapper. Uh, 
<laughs> and that was Terraria. Well, that was that was Terraria for tonight. Let's do a final hydration check. To end the evening. Oh. Well, that was fun. It was fun. I'm glad I was able to share my story with you. It's an entertaining few hours. And I will leave you to whatever it is that you have left for the rest of your day. Personally, it's bedtime for me. So, as always, everyone, thanks for watching. Hello, folks. You know, I've been a picking and trying to pick a banjo for 40 years or more. I used to just play the imitation, but now I'm going to give you a little of the variations of Casey Jones. I'm going to give you a little of old Dan Tucker, containing more heterogeneous constopolicy, double flavor, and unknown quality than usual. Good for the stomach.